So the unit we're about to start involves what's called analysis with pitch class sets. Now we'll slowly dissect what that means over the next couple of days, but to get started, we'll focus on the word set. Well, what is a set? Well, a set is just any collection of pitches or pitch classes in a piece of music that you want to focus on. So as you recall from class on Monday, we looked at this piece by Webern, Dies ist ein Lied, and we focused on a few pitch sets along the way. Uh, I'll draw our attention to uh, one of the more prominent ones, and that's the last four notes in both the vocal line and in the piano accompaniment. If we take just those four notes, and I'll switch over to a staff, if we take just those four notes, the way that they are presented in the music is just like this. They're presented in a descending, especially the last four notes of the piano accompaniment, they're just presented in this descending line. In order to better compare this group of four notes with another group of four notes, we want to put this in what we call the normal order. The normal order is essentially the most compact version of this set. So we want to keep all these notes as they are, but we want there to be the least amount of distance possible between the first note of the group and the last note of the group. And all we mean by that is just to rearrange the, the notes a little bit. So simply reorder the set so that there's the least amount of distance possible between the first note and the last note. So in this case from E to B flat is a tritone, but that's going to be the smallest possible ordering uh, we can have uh, in this set. Now the other thing with normal order is we want these to be in ascending order instead of descending. Now I realize we're abstracting a little bit at this point, we're not really representing the true surface of the music, but again we're trying to come up with sort of the lowest common denominator, something that we can then use to compare with other four note groups and sets in the piece. So we'll just rearrange this to ascending order, like so, which gives us what we'd call the normal order for this group. Now, the reason we do this is we can see lots of cool things with this. We've now sort of standardized the intervals and the interval patterns between the notes. So as you can see, between E and F is a half step, between F and A flat is a minor third, and then between A flat and B flat is a whole step. So now if we take other groupings of four notes, we can then compare its interval pattern with the other interval patterns we find. So if we go back to the music, remember this big anchor chord, this out of nowhere chord that signals the return of the A section of the piece here in the left hand. If we take the notes of that chord, and we'll put them over here in another measure. If we take those notes, now we do the same thing as before. We take these, these notes and we reorder them so that we have the smallest possible distance from the bottom note to the top note and keep things in ascending order. Now this is already in ascending order, but we do need to flip a few things around. For instance, C sharp and D are close together and then G and F are together. So to reorder this into the normal order uh, for this set, we would go like so, C sharp, D, F, G. Again, and then notice the outside interval here from C sharp to G is a tritone. So what we end up with here, notice, same as we had before, our intervallic pattern is now half step, minor third, whole step. So this is the same intervallic pattern. Both of these four note groups have been put into what we call normal order. So now we can clearly see that they share the same intervallic pattern as well. This is really just a first step in sort of a, a couple of different operations we can do to sets in music in order to more easily compare them with one another. So again, this is just a little introduction. Uh, we'll talk more about this in class on Wednesday, but here's just a quick a little intro into working with this new idea of pitch class sets in music.